This is a simple recipe for grilled tilapia and plantains that are made in the oven. I used red tilapia for this but you can use any bony fish that you like or one that you can find. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bookie. If you're new here, you're welcome. And if you've been here before, how are you guys doing? In this video, I'm going to show you how I make this delicious grilled fish along with the grilled plantain and the side sauce. It's really easy to make and you don't need a lot of ingredients. With fish, less is more because you want to enjoy the natural taste also. For this recipe, I'm using red tilapia. Any fish that you like will be fine. Croaker, mackerel, anyone. I'm also going to make a pepper sauce to marinate the fish. So I'm using tatashe, I'm using tomatoes, I'm using habaneros, ginger, garlic, some onions, and I'm also going to blend all of this with some spring onions. I'm also using canola oil, vegetable oil or granite oil is fine. For seasoning, I'm using stock cubes, white pepper, dried thyme, curry powder, and some salt. For the grilled plantains, I'm using ripe plantains. These are ripe, but they're still firm. You can use any plantain that you like, unripe, semi-ripe, either will work. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to blend the pepper. So I've put my habaneros ginger and garlic in the blender i'm adding my tomatoes and onions now and also the spring onions spring onions is an aromatic and it's just going to add a little bit more flavor to all of this i'm going to add some water now and blend it it doesn't have to be completely smooth just blend it and make sure that all of the peppers are blended and mixed together and then you can stop In a frying pan, I'm going to add some oil. When the oil is hot, I'm going to add in the pepper mix that I just blended. I don't usually boil my peppers first as you may have noticed in most of my videos. I don't boil my peppers first before I fry. I feel like it doesn't make any difference. It's going to reduce in the oil and I'm just saving time by doing it this way. I don't like to spend a lot of time in the kitchen so I like to simplify my processes. I'm going to cover this now and allow it to cook for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to add in the stock cubes and the rest of the seasoning. I'm going to give it a stir and let it continue to cook some more. I want this to properly cook until all of the water in the pepper mix has reduced and it's just the pepper and the oil left. This may look like a lot of oil, but you need the oil in the marinade so that the fish doesn't completely dry out in the oven. You want your grilled fish moist and succulent when you grill it. I don't like it when my fish dries up in the oven. That's why I opt to use a wet rub most of the time for my grilled fish. Now that my sauce is ready, I'm going to take it off of the fire and allow it to cook. In the meantime, I'm going to make some slits in my fish. This is going to allow the marinade to go in and really get under the skin and just marinate this fish properly. I'm going to put on a glove now because there's a bit of pepper in this sauce and I don't want it to burn my fingers. The sauce has cooled down now, so I'm going to rub it all over the fish. Make sure you rub it in the slits, in the abdomen, in the gills and in the head. If you like to eat fish head, you want to get the seasoning in the head also so that when you're eating it, it's well seasoned and you can enjoy it. Be as generous as you want with this sauce. The more, the better. Rub it all over and try to press it in so that it really gets in the skin. going to marinate this fish for an hour before I grill it. It's been an hour now. I'm going to place it on this rack with a foil paper and put it in the oven to grill for 30 minutes. 
while my fish has only a couple of minutes to go i'm going to start to prepare my plantains so i'm just going to peel it and slice it the way i like i like the look of this is why i've done it this way but you can slice it any way that you like you can also fry your plantains if you prefer but i just felt like i'll make this a sort of healthy meal by grilling my plantains also plus i wanted to show some of my audience how i grilled the plantain i served with some grilled turkey on my instagram page a couple of days ago so i'm slicing the plantain into three lengthways if you have bigger plantains or thicker plantains, you can slice it into more than three. Just do whatever you feel comfortable doing. I'm going to apply some oil now because I'm going to grill this in a pan and not in the oven. So I'm just adding some oil but you can skip this if you want. Also you can sprinkle some salt on it if you want but I'm not going to do that with this. I'm going to make sure all of the plantain slices get a bit of oil, not a lot, just a little bit of oil to keep it from charring in the grill pan. I've started to heat my pan now so I'm just going to place a couple of plantain slices in the pan and allow it to grill for about three to four minutes on one side and then I'll flip it over. Instead of greasing the plantain you can grease the pan if that is what you would prefer doing. I'm going to turn it over now because that side has grilled for a couple of minutes. You can leave it longer if you want, but you may need to turn it a couple of times on each side to get your plantain cooked properly. Another thing that you can do is once you've started the grilling in the pan like this, if your fish is not yet ready, you can put the whole pan in the oven. Just make sure that the grill pan is safe to go in the oven. You can put it in the oven for a couple of minutes and allow it to grill alongside the fish. My fish is now ready and this is what it looks like. I'm serving it with a fresh side salad and my grilled plantain and also the remainder of the sauce that I made earlier to marinate the fish. And that is all for this grilled fish. It's so simple, packed with flavor and delicious. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. Follow me on Instagram at The Kitchen Muse, on Twitter at Kitchen Muse NG. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.